Hi guys, welcome back to Grammar. Um, I hope that you are okay. Uh, I hope that you have uh, been enjoying the the other videos that I have sent. I hope that you have been understanding everything that I have sent. Um, today we are going to talk about the way that you are going to um, do some of your work. I just want to remind you that in the other video I told you that homeworks would be sent weekly so probably by friday you're gonna see a link on your classroom saying uh class works of the week so you have to upload all the pages that you have done through the week i'm not gonna ask for uh for to send them very often you're gonna uh, send your class works one day of the week so i'm gonna send your parents a picture of the class work and then a video explaining how can you upload your class works in pictures um so uh, you don't have to send anything yet, do your work. The only thing that I'm gonna ask you, and I'm gonna send you a video explaining it to you, it's that you have to do a cover for every week. So for an example, for this week, you're gonna write the name of the student, you're gonna write, uh, for an example, uh, I'm gonna do it in your notebook, so I'm not gonna explain it too much right now. But I'm gonna explain it to you, a cover, all the classworks of the week, and you're gonna send the pictures every week probably you're gonna have to have to send them by monday let's say it's an example and uh, everything on the on the same day so you don't have to worry right now what we will do is that we will work a little more in the proper and common nouns the topic that we started yesterday and um so um so we can advance a little and oh, today we are going to do a couple exercises that are not in the book but we are going to start exploring sentences on different tenses. Um, something that a friend from the States, my friend Karen from the States, hey Karen, uh, she watches my videos sometimes and um, she noticed that I was writing the dating correctly and I wanna make it as American, as, a nor as, as North American as you can. So remember, we're trying to fake our accents and the way that we write and try to make it as authentic as we can. So, um, we are going to um we are going to write the date correctly today because she sent the the um the correction of the date so let's do this So um, let's do this. The correct way to write the date would be, ah, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I keep messing around. Okay, so we have in here grammar. I got new markers, yay! I hope that everybody can see it because I got new markers for everybody, ah, yeah, yeah, for everybody to be able to read my handwriting a little better. I still wanna make cursive for you guys because you're supposed to, um, you're supposed to learn how to do both. Remember that I told you that the purpose of this is that um, you uh, learn how to write it in cursive, not necessarily because that's the way that you are gonna write, but because it's, easy, it's, it's useful because you practice your handwriting and then you are gonna achieve a better handwriting and a better, um, I would say penmanship, but I don't know if that's the word. Um, so you don't have ugly handwriting like I do because mine is very ugly and please don't mind my letters if they're ugly and you think that they should be done differently let me know you know that uh, Miss Lucia is the one that is a master in cursive and writing and stuff I'm not so I'm just trying to do my best so let's write the date I got new markers look okay so let's write the date Today is Monday. Today is Monday, September 7th, September, uh, yeah. September 7th, uh, wait. 
September 7th, 2020. Yeah, wait, no, the comma is not here. It's in here. I'm trying to do my best in doing authentic experience, so we'll see. Okay, so yesterday we were doing um, common nouns and proper nouns. So we are going to do common nouns and proper nouns. But we are going to remember that everything that I'm writing should be written in your notebook, okay? Uh, that's what I'm writing dates because you have to write it in your notebook, but we are going to mix it with simple present tense. Now, the simple present tense is something very easy. The simple present tense tells us things that are happening today, right now. For an example, I write, I see, I eat. Simple present tense tell us things that are happening right now. For an example, when someone is walking on the street, in that specific moment, he is walking, so he says, I walk. But that's an action that has an ending. It ends the moment he stops walking. So when he is still but not walking then he is no longer walking he says I stop so simple present tense is something that happens in the immediate moment right now it doesn't change it doesn't it doesn't continue it ends so if this was the timeline of our time simple present simple present tense starts in the circle and it goes through time and finishes in the triangle. It has an ending. Or, it's not something that continues. It has a beginning and an end. You can write this example if you want. Now, with this in mind, we are going to make, remember to copy, and if you didn't copy, you can stop the video and copy, because I'm gonna erase. Um, with this in mind, let's make a couple examples using common nouns and proper noun and proper nouns so we can practice it. So let's make examples. Common nouns and then present tense. Okay? So for an example, remember that common nouns are simple things that are not specific. So we can have common nouns, chair, and then how can I make a sentence in the present tense with a common noun? We can write the, because you have to write the before an object, the chair is blue. And then you can make an illustration of your chair. We are going to make a lot of illustrations in this class. So if you're gonna tell me, Mister, I cannot draw, well, you better try, because we're gonna make a lot of them, okay? That is just an example. But what if I tell you that we can make an example with an, uh, another kind of object? Let's see. Uh, what about uh, cat? Okay, let's make an example. The cat is happy. As you can see, the sentences are pretty, pretty simple. And they're pretty simple because you're, we're just beginning. Later on time, we will see sentences that are a little more difficult and um, we will have to work a little more on them with something we call, that I call complement, something beside it, something that tells you more of the story. But right now we are going to only do this. Let's make, um, let's make a couple exercises. I'm gonna write them in here and you're gonna have to complete them in your notebook, writing sentences that are very simple about something that they are happy. That I'm gonna give you a different example. So basically I will be giving you your homework. Let's see for an example, if I use the word um, phone, okay? 
So again, we are going to start the phone. Maybe you can write the phone on the table. She don't know. Sorry, my cat. I'm going to write the cat is messy because my cat is really messy. No. So sorry. The cat. Oh, ah, sorry. The phone is, I don't know, heavy because you take it and it's very heavy. Or the phone is blue. See? Super simple. Super simple sentences. Just try to remember that you have to write that at the beginning. Okay? Remember, if I'm writing the sentence in cursive, you should be writing the sentence in cursive. And when you're writing in cursive, you're writing with a pen. And if you're writing in print, you're writing with a pencil. Okay. So this is going to be part of your homework. I'm not going to write anything because it's, that's going to be your classwork. Sorry, your classwork. You have to complete it. Uh, let's make another one. Let's make for an example cap. Cap is what I usually wear on my head that people hate. I love caps because I don't have to do my hair. So that's a cap. Oh, sorry. I'm going to draw a phone in here. And a cap. I know my cap is very horrendous, but that's what people wear on their head. See? Okay, that would be a cap. So then you would write the cap is, I don't know, blue or big or ugly. An adjective that tells you how something is. This is something very simple. I know that you have done this with Miss Jency last year, so there will be no problem on that. So copy your classwork. I'm gonna uh, copy the rest over here. If you didn't copy, rewind your video a little and, um, and finish copying. This is gonna be your classwork for today, so please finish this. On Wednesday, we are going to do uh, proper nouns in the present tense, and then we're gonna close the topic so you can finish uh, everything by Friday. Let's continue. Uh, let's do the word, uh, um, I don't know, uh, church. Catholic, because that's the one that I can draw, but you can draw a Muslim or a, a Buddhist or a Christian or a Protestant, whichever religion you like. So we are going to, um, okay, church. Sorry, I changed it a little. I draw the, I made the drawing at the beginning, but the order doesn't really matter as much as you can make your sentence. You can write, the church is a uh, fun if you like churches or boring if you don't like churches or big if it's something big so as you can see it's very simple later on we will be working on them until you can make very long sentences like the church is big and it's boring but i have to go because my mother is sending me to it and um i dislike it but i'm a very obedient son a very long sentence right but right now we're making very short sentences uh let's make two more um what about chocolate? You buy the chocolate already, okay? So you can write in there. That chocolate is, I don't know, the chocolate is delicious, the chocolate is yummy, um, the chocolate is a... Uh, black, the chocolate is sweet, the chocolate is uh, sour, whichever you opinion you have towards chocolate. So these are going to be the examples for uh, for today. I think I can one, make one more. One more. One more. Okay. Um, something about, uh, uh, I don't know, a uh, movie. Uh, oh. I'm gonna make popcorn in here because I don't really know how to draw a movie. So you can, uh, we're gonna use the word movie. Uh, movie. You can write in there. Uh, the movie is interesting or the movie is pretty boring. Something that you think about the movie where you can use a common noun in the present tense. Remember, you should always pay attention that all the examples 
how to use the the the, the verb to be is is because we're talking about one and it's in the present so the church is something something boring pretty good the chocolate is something something good black sweet sour whichever the movie is because right now we're talking only about one then we're gonna make sentences with both with plural and singular but right now we're making only with one so you can get used to this so don't forget to use is and finish your sentences with a period so i hope that you're having fun i hope you can enjoy this video do this in your notebook don't forget that we're doing everything in our notebook and then you're gonna sorry and then you're gonna send it to me but i'll let you know when okay so be mindful of the instructions i know you can do this guys bye